Hello parents and welcome to room 46. My name is Miss B and we're just going to be talking about my classroom management presentation and what to expect in the fifth grade this year. So the first thing is uh, Michigan Avenue, where you are. So Michigan Avenue is a public school, top in Bradley County. It's a reward school. We have over 500 students of different ethnicities, and most of our classes have no more than 25 students. Um, this class is currently a class of 20 students with different levels of learning. We have several with IEPs, some with ESOLs, uh, some gifted, I mean, just all types of learning, which is great. And of course, this is the fifth grade, the next step to middle school. My philosophy of classroom management is very simple. I want to provide a safe and creative learning environment for your, for your kids and my students. I want to love all students, no matter what. I want to challenge and instruct students with a firm but a fair hand, excuse me. And I value, or I want to always learn alongside my students and increase my knowledge of what may be best for them. Um, for example, Jones and Jones in their book says, it is equally imperative that you understand what research suggests is most effective in preventing and, under, and responding to disruptive student behavior. So basically that means that it's important for you to do the research to figure out the different strategies that you can use in the classroom, especially when it comes to behavior management. So which we will talk about shortly, um, but that is sort of my philosophy. Classroom rules are very simple, but I do believe that students should be able to have a say in what rules are in the classroom, that way that they feel some ownership of them. Um, so these are just some simple rules that we will be talking about in the first day of school, and then the students will be able to modify it and, and um, create their own rules. So uh, treat classroom peers, teachers, and school property with respect at all times. Be responsible for your own learning. Don't speak when others are speaking. Use your kind hands and kind words. Always try your best. And I mean, that's really all I can ask is that they try their best. But again, in Scholastic, Shalloway, um, Mrs. Shalloway talks about creating or allowing students to create their own rules so that they take ownership of those rules. So we will be doing that. Rewards. My reward system is mainly Wolverine Bucks. So Wolverine Bucks are student, it's class money that they can spend in the class store every Friday. They can spend based on um, the things in the next slide, which we'll see. Um, rewarded by following the rules, going above and beyond class, showing kindness to their peers. I mean, basically, I'm just looking for behavior that goes above and beyond without being asked. Um, I will also reward uh, exceptional schoolwork as well. So if a student it gets an A on a test or they've been struggling and they do really well on a lesson, I will be sure to reward them. So I'm kind of looking for different ways to reward students. Um, daily rewards include candy, stickers, of course, Wolverine bucks, verbal praise, recognizing again that, that hard work. And I think that's important that students know that um, I notice the hard work that they are doing and I want to help them with that hard work. So um, Kerwin says, when we have positive things to say, there's a great difference between manipulating students to behave in a certain way by giving them things when they comply and expressing true feelings of appreciation. So rather than using my praise as a way to sort of manipulate your students to do what is asked, I will use verbal praise as a way to reward them when they've simply just done a really good job. I think that's important. Okay, Wolverine Bucks. So the way this works is, again, following class rules, being kind, going above and beyond what is asked, um, working really hard on classwork, earning good grades, that sort of thing. They earn these Wolverine Bucks. Um, Five dollars is just kind of this layout here is how they can spend it. You know, there's different levels. So if by that Friday they only have five dollars, they can spend it or they can save it. It's totally up to them. Um, and that's sort of the different levels. Consequences. I run on a three strike system. The first strike is a verbal or a written warning to stop the behavior and make a better choice. Strike two is some recess time taking away. Now this is just depending on the situation. So it could be a minute for every time the offense was made. It could be five minutes total. Um, longer than that, it's, it's a case by case basis. Um, strike three is a phone call home and a possible visit with the principal. It will take a lot to get to strike